What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already. If you haven't, it means the world's your boy. If you subscribe, comment, like, share. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell in the top right hand corner. So every time I release a video, you get a notification and I get a view. Sharing's caring, people, and it helps my channel grow. How was your weekend? I hope it went well. I didn't do a video yesterday. I was just chilling up. You know, sometimes you need a break, people, just to gather your thoughts and that. Anyway, before I start this video, I'd like to say this is not a diss to Marvin Herbert. This is not a diss to Ambush the Rapper. Uh, this is just my thoughts and I just found this out, information out recently and I was shocked. I'm like, wait, what? No. So it's more of a warning to Marv and just a heads up. Do you know what I'm saying? Not even a warning, just a heads up, brother. So um, <clears throat> the other day I'm chatting, me and my mate, yeah, and we're just talking here and there. And he's like, yeah, Bob, man, I see your video about what Marv said, man. He's like, can you believe that? And he's like, if he's so, if he feels that way about drug dealers, <clears throat> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, the other day when Marvin Herbert was releasing Liam Ditchie, he was um, talking about how drug dealers are the same as paedophiles in the way they groom kids and all the other stuff. And I made a video about that, reacting to it. So my mate was like, yeah, I'll see that video. Um, and uh, if he's so worried about that kind of stuff and he thinks drug dealers are like that, is that Ambush got caught doing the drug thing, uh, um, got caught in the trap house or something. And then it was like, and Ambush got caught up in that sexual um, assault drama last year at YouTube Studios. And I didn't know either of them. I don't I, know. I'm, I'm aware of Ambush. I'm aware of like all the stuff going on around here. But there's a little drama. There's a fucking war going on between certain people. And I just don't get involved. So I don't listen to none of their music or none of that other stuff. I stay neutral. Do you know what I'm saying? So, and I've never heard any of this stuff anyway. Even on YouTube. So my mate's like, brother, what you... So we're talking. He's like, never heard. And I'm like, no. So I'm thinking you're full of shit. So I go on YouTube. I check it out. But it was all up. Like, like 20, 30 videos just pop up. And I'm like, what? So I started going through a few of them, and the girl was basically saying in a nutshell, if you don't know about it, that at YouTube Studio Awards, um, Ambush is there, they're all drinking or something, and um, he's flirting with his chick he knows, or no, he didn't know the chick, but it was, they were flirting or something, and then he went up to her and grabbed her tip. And then um, the next day, she was like, what the fuck's going on? Lee? exchange anyway you can go on youtube and find out the whole details of that situation ambush was like look i'm a flirty guy and it's just it, i didn't mean it in that way come on allow me sort of thing like it was just like i'm just hollering you <clears throat> but she was like you don't know me what you don't holler people like that anyway cool so there's no charges um on ambush yeah so he's not like convicted of anything here yeah? and um i think the girls wanted an apology so it wasn't like a major incident yeah but it's over youtube and um <clears throat> See where Marv is doing this positive thing. It's hard enough to change your life around, but then to change it around, to do it in a positive way, it's even harder. And, and, and like, change it around and help others in a positive way. It's bloody hard. Do you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know when you're just sorting your life out, you just bloody got to pay the bills and you just got to bloody get over all the stuff in your head and the mental health and all the other stuff, let alone go out there and help others, especially after being shot five times and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Up uh, people, just a quick one. If you haven't already, add me on Instagram, living underscore in underscore LDN, all lowercase, yeah? Nearly at 1500. Anyway, so when Marv's doing such a good thing, I, I wouldn't want anything to like mess that up for him. Do you know what I'm saying? Fuck it up in any sort of way. So Marv's an old guy like me, you know what I'm saying? I'm 38, I think he's like 50 or something, yeah? But like, so maybe he's unaware of this because uh, when I watched the Ambush and Marv podcast, it was never brought up. Obviously, I would have been aware of it. And, um, Ambush, well, Marvin had Ambush uh, around the kids when he was doing some charity event at the boxing gym. Um, I watch all of my stuff, I think it's sick, yeah. So, um, and you get inspiration from that, you know what I'm saying? And, and ideas. So, um, when I found this information out the other day, I was like, no way. I'm like, bruv, that's crazy. And that could mess up his stuff, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what these journalists and these other fuckers are like, yeah? So, this is more of just a heads up to Marv. Like, I don't know if you're aware of it, but if you are, bruv, that can definitely fuck up your shit, you know, because you've got to be squeaky clean. Like you said, when I come on my show, you know, I mean, when I come on my show, when I went on Marvin's show, he was like, um, if any of these two are involved in any sort of crime, yeah, I can't be a part of it. They can't be around me because I've got to be squeaky clean. Do you know what I'm saying? And that always stuck with me. I'm thinking, fuck, you know, Marv really has changed. The fact that he would even say that, you know, just to like double check because I'm squeaky clean anyway. I don't do anything, yeah. Smoke a bit of weed, that's it. But, um, the fact they would put it out there, he really is on this positive change thing. So, Marv, this is a heads up. Oh, before I forget, and another thing as well, yeah? If you don't know already, there's a guy called Ugly Mug and a chat. It's, um, 
some guy that uh he's just a youtuber and they contacted me one day um and um we got a mutual friendship sort of thing not even a mutual friendship we're just cool yeah and um what we had a falling out the other no okay let me go back a bit so he hits me up um, I give him uh, tips on things to do on YouTube, how to build these channels, just you know, just little bits of help here and there when he asks for it, yeah? So uh, he was like to me, uh, I've got a strike on my channel. And I'm like, no way, for what? And he was like, um, uh, the video I did with um, about the Liam Ditchie and Marvin Herbert thing. And I'm like, well, how would you get a strike for? He's like, I use someone's content. And I'm like, who? He's like, Marvin's. I'm like, what? He's striked. He's like, I think so. I'm like, nope. 100%. You know what? Furthermore, I'll make the phone call for you. So I, um, did I call Marv or voice note him? I think I called him, you know? Yeah, I called Marv up and we spoke. Oh, it was a voice note anyway. No, no, it was a voice note. It was a voice note. So anyway, I voice noted Marv and said, look, this situation's happened with my mate brother. And if you haven't, go subscribe to him, yeah? He's an ugly mug in his chat. He's only got like 100 subscribers. It's about 100 views a, a video. But he keeps releasing content. His last channel got taken down. No, he lost his last channel. He lost the code to it, I was saying. But he's got a new channel. Go and check him out. Show him some love. You might even enjoy his content. If you do, come on. It's another bit of content for you guys. So um, I'm like to Marv, yeah, look. Uh, someone I know has got a strike. He's a cool guy. He's only got 100 subs. He's saying your channel striked him. And he's like, nope, don't have nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with me. Um, if it was, it was YouTube, their algorithm. I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. That's, that's like exactly what I thought. So I spoke to my pal, or I spoke to Ugly Mug in the chat. And I said to him, like, look, this is the situation. This is what Marv said. And then me and, had a, me and him had a little falling out. I think I woke up on the wrong side of bed. He made a video about it as well, you fucking little shit. Uh, but you can go and watch that video as well on um, his channel. Pretty funny. And, um, and what? And... Uh, and then, so we had a little fall in there and then like we were sweet afterwards, I apologised and all the other stuff. And um, and then what? And then he sent me the fucking clip, or well, not even the clip, the picture of the strike. And it says, strike issued by Marvin Herbert. I'm like, surely not. So obviously, like I said, me and Marvin, not on the, I don't know, it's not, the energy is definitely not the same since I went on the Sean Atwood podcast. So I didn't even message him this time. I just thought, you know what? Fuck it, won't even say that. But Marv, if it is, please take it down. And if it ain't, does anyone know how to sort out um, strikes? And if they do, go on to Ugly Mug and the Chats channel and help the brother out. He's a young YouTuber, young YouTuber. He's a small YouTuber like me. You know what I'm saying? So go hit him up. Anyways, if we live in London, if I can get 500 likes on this video, by 12 o'clock tonight, I'm going to give you another video about the Davin G and the police and the grassing situation and the paperwork that's about out about him at the moment. So if you want that, let me know. And above, I've got a couple videos to do. Yeah, I've got a few videos. I've got a Danny Simpson video, Sam Walker, Ben Hatchett video, and I've got a Damon G video. But if you give me 500 likes by 12 o'clock, I promise you, I'll give you another one tonight and then another one by midday the next day. You know what I'm saying? So come on, people, give me them likes. I'll give you that content. It's your boy living in London. I'm doing bits. Peace.